Here, back on your Friday, a serious situation being monitored in southeast Alaska. You may remember this dramatic video. This is from the Juneau Mendenhall River area when that house fell into the river. The event leading up to that glacial outburst, flooding, and destruction is setting up again. The basin sits above Mendenhall Glacier, and water levels have been rising through the summer season from melting snow and ice and rain. And of course, Aaron, this is something that we always kind of keep our eye on uh, around the same time every year, seems. Yeah, it's, it's, right now, it's really just a waiting game. Last year, it took six days once that uh, basin began to top out uh, for that glacial outburst to occur. So it could go any day now. So uh, if you live along Mendenhall Lake and River, now is the time to take the necessary precautions. Uh, last year was a record flooding event with this. Uh, we've seen uh, this occur yearly since 20. 11 and so yes we'll likely see this occur here over the next couple of days could go today could go this weekend or next week uh, where we are going to be watching for that potential and warmer weather will build into southeast as well which could uh, continue to lead to some additional water flowing into that basin uh, as well that ridge of high pressure building into the gulf of alaska that is going to greatly influence our weather here uh, over the next couple of days now while it's not taking its full uh, control over our weather today a uh, weather pattern today we are going to see uh, some rain showers as we're already expecting to occur for the first part of the morning from south central through the interior holding on to that rainfall uh, even as you head out west through uh, southern parts of the Seward Peninsula, out towards the Yukon Delta from Shaktulik, White Mountain, Unalakleet, uh, those coastal regions holding on to some uh, light rain showers this morning. In fact, looking into the weekend and next week, western Alaska will continue uh, to see this daily chance for some rain and a breezy weather uh, sticking around. So as far as what we're going to see through the remainder of today, as that area of uh, rain continues to build to the south, uh, here in south central, you can see it really just falls apart. That's as it builds into that ridge uh, that is pushing, uh, that is building northward into the Gulf of Alaska. So uh, our rain's quickly going to come to an end across South Central, and then we're, that's going to pave the way uh, for some sunshine as we welcome in the weekend. But again, if you live out west and through the interior, we will continue to hold on to some chance for some rain showers here uh, over the next couple of days. It's the southern coastline uh, that's really going to see that favorable summer weather pattern uh, arriving as we welcome in the weekend. Now, if you live into the interior, yes, rain can be expected over the next couple of days. Warmer weather for you does build in next week with highs uh, likely topping out near 80 degrees. In terms of the rainfall today, you can see from Anchorage uh, points north, uh, seeing some sprinkles to just some light rainfall. Uh, many areas seeing additional uh, less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall in those locations that is holding on to that rain. And then you see across the Kenai, dry conditions. Nothing expected for you today. In fact, some sunshine uh, for coastal regions of the Kenai as well as Kodiak. Out towards uh, the afternoon hours, we will warm back into the upper 50s and the lower 60s across South Central. So get outdoors uh, later today, even with those overcast skies, it's still going to feel pleasant. The sunshine uh, returns for South Central tomorrow. Starting today, the sunny weather uh, builds into southeast. Breaking into the 70s for Ketchikan, there is some dense fog this morning. As those clouds breaking, uh, we're seeing some of that fog settling in, uh, and those dense fog advisories continue through at least 10 a.m. Uh, this morning. Across South Central, the southern parts of the Kenai, seeing some sunshine. Uh, we will see those breezy conditions sticking around throughout the day. Some light rain through Prince William Sound, 63 degrees uh, in the Copper River ba uh, Basin as you head out towards Golcana. Uh, the valley, seeing those temperatures in the lower 60s. Again, those morning showers will taper off. Uh, we will hold on to those overcast skies for most of the day. There's that sunshine returning into the weekend. Mid to upper 60s look possible. Would not be surprised if we see a couple of locations warming into the 70s. Monday, we do see that return to some late day showers with a high of 68. Will be nice. We are in summer, so uh, yeah, we appreciate it. We're the last month of uh, full month of summer, and hey, we'll take what we can get. Oh, we will. Thanks, Aaron.